Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. Whose responsibility is it to know the weight of my tractor? We'll discuss this on today's Iron Talk. We had a huge field day on our farm this year. In fact, we used trolleys to pull people around. We wanted a tractor that was easy to run and gave us great visibility. So we got a Case 105U utility tractor. Here's the problem though. In order to deliver the tractor safely, the dealer put 17 pounds of pressure in each of the tires to fully inflate them for shipping. You see, when they haul tractors around, if the tires are fully inflated, the tractors don't bounce or sway on the trailer. Well, when the tractor was delivered to pull the trolley, we figured the smartest thing to do would be to weigh the axles and figure how little tire pressure we could get by with. By running lower pressure, we'd create less compaction in our fields, and we'd also give the tractor operator a much smoother ride in the tractor seat. The rear tires were a 14.9 R24 Agribib from Michelin. Now, the weight of the rear axle was about 6,000 pounds. We figured we'd drive at about six miles an hour, you know, through a good share of the day, but the tractor could get up to 20 miles an hour, which would be the fastest it could run. Not that we're gonna pull the trolleys that fast, but you never know, just in case, that's how fast it could run. Now, when you weigh the axles, you need to have the implement you're going to use attached. For example, with this trolley, just pulling it behind, it's not gonna add much to that rear axle, maybe 500 pounds at the most. So we looked down the chart, and at 20 miles an hour, which again, was the fastest the tractor could run, we could haul 7,400 pounds in that rear axle. You'll have to look through your charts to see exactly where to set your tires for the various operations you're going to do this fall. It will pay you dividends in driver comfort, reduced compaction, time and cost savings from reduced problems with equipment, and longer life out of your tires. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.